On August the 18th, 1929, the once silent sky of Ethiopia was pierced by the roar of a French Potez 25 single-engine twin-seater biplane, piloted by Antoine André Maillet. This sound, this event, resonated across Ethiopia and was felt throughout the African continent. Unbeknownst to most Ethiopians, it was a clarion call. Aviation as an inspired catalyst to nation-building. The fiercely independent peoples of Ethiopia swiftly rose to the challenge by spawning homegrown developed training facilities, pioneering Ethiopia's first batch of pilots, including the first female Ethiopian pilot, maintenance technicians, and aviation technology. During this period, the contributions of the American aviator Colonel John Robinson was instrumental in training Ethiopian pilots and expanding aviation services. The excitement of 1930s was about overcoming the barriers of a landlocked mindset to a nation beholding a global vista. What beckoned was the thrill of adventure, propelled by boundless perspective in the realm of reach and speed, with the implications of new opportunities and potentials in communication, transportation and commerce. 